Hi guys, in today's review we're going to be reviewing the JVC Bluetooth waterproof speaker. So we're going to be reviewing this fella here. I'm going to be reviewing this one, the main reason I've got it is because I have a speaker already, but the speaker I've got has got a very poor battery. So the one I already have is the JBL Flip 2. So this is an old Flip 2, it's a rechargeable Bluetooth speaker with an auxiliary input, but the battery on this thing doesn't last very well unfortunately. So the idea was I got the JVC to see if it would last obviously better because it's brand new so the charge on the battery is going to last a lot better. It's also half the price of the JBL. These things are around about 80, 90 quid. This was about 30 quid. So it's to see if this is any good for the price and if it will be compensate for the 40 JBL and whether it's worth having. Okay, so firstly the unboxing. We've got cardboard box, more instructions telling us it's a portable water resistant speaker with NFC one touch pairing, Bluetooth, built in charging battery and it is water resistant. Oh, little pictures of bubbles. The actual speaker itself, we've got an instruction book, recycling bit, declaration of conformity and under here so we've got the USB charging lead to charge it with and an audio lead to connect up auxiliary to a stereo or phone or other device via a headphone socket and then the speaker itself waiting for a connection oops press the button by mistake so you've got your controls on top on and off button volume auxiliary selection, phone connection, because you can use this with your phone, you can speak to it, and your NFC button. It's quite a nice design, quite chunky, not heavy. It's got a nice bit of rubber at the bottom to cushion it, so when it's on your desk, it's nice and solid. So yeah, if I switch it on properly, it's... Waiting for a connection. There we go. We've got a little tag at this end. So I don't really know what you can do with that. I suppose you put something for it. Maybe you can't really hold it with anything. That just tells you it's a JVC. And on this end, it says open. This is where you're going to have your ports. So you've got your charging port and your auxiliary port for any other device, say phone or MP3 player, something like that. This again is water resistant, so it's got seals around it. So when you close it, that seals it up. So it's still waterproof. So we have to try out the sound, shall we? Okay, so we've got the setup now with the DJ controller and the speaker. Speaker's nice and easy to plug in. It's not waterproof, obviously, when you plug it into a auxiliary device, but let's just have a quick check. Now this is mainly to test the stereo side of it. Okay, so it's not doing quite so well on the deeper sounds, it's a bit poppy. Um, obviously it's a mono speaker, so you don't get any stereo separation, which is when I made this track, it does seem to switch between stereo quite often. Okay. Try a bit of vocal. Okay, so for a Bluetooth speaker, it's not too bad. So I'll try the differences between that and the JBL speaker to see what the JBL sounds like. Okay, so we've now replaced the JVC with the JBL, the speaker I had previously. Okay, so they don't really handle my bass as well as it could be. Um, I think the JBL does handle the bass a lot better than the JVC. There's very little between the size between them, about the same sort of length, um, same width, depth, weight, that sort of stuff. There just seems to be a little bit more power in the JBL. The big problem I had with the JBL, of course, was the fact that it doesn't last very well on its charge. But if it's plugged into the mains, it's probably going to be all right to be used with the DJ controller or something else. Maybe use this one for the garden then. 
um, or for use it's probably its full intention, which is to listen to music from your phone. Okay, so conclusion is it's a nice little speaker and it's a bit overdone by the bass, which is unfortunate with these sort of things. They tend to get that way. With any of these sort of speakers, realistically, if you want the bassy version to take down the beach, you want to get something a bit bigger than these. These are a little bit on the small side for that, but they're all right for a small single music. If you want to sit and listen to music whilst you're out or a couple of friends, that sort of thing. It's not really party music with any and they're not designed for that. That's not the reason for them. Um, pairing it up is very easy with the phone, just a case of the NFC button at the top. You have to have contacts connected to this for some stupid reason, but when it does pair to the phone... So, it's not too bad um, for the price. I mean, for 30 quid, and sometimes you can get them on deals as well. For that kind of money, for a Bluetooth speaker of that size and weight, and the fact it is waterproof, so you could take it down the beach, get it where, uh, by the side of the swimming pool if you've got one. Um, yeah, not too bad, actually. I'll stick the links, as always, down below to this, and to the JBL range, because JBL also do a lot bigger speakers. They do the massive, great big flips and boom boxes and so on. Thanks for watching the review. Hope you liked the review. If you do, please hit the like button down below. Think about subscribing if you want to keep up with my vlogs and watch reviews. And I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.